Hey guys, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. Since I unboxed the Indomo XPS a few days ago, the biggest question that I've had is how does typing work on a laptop with such a unique design? So I'm going to show you how typing works when you're sitting at a desk, when you're sitting at a chair with it on your lap, and you're sitting at just a couch relaxing. How typing is going to work on a computer with a, a very different take on the keyboard. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we are at your standard desk configuration, sitting at a chair of regular height without a significant ergonomic aspect to it, just a regular chair at a standard desk. We're going to open up the laptop, and you'll immediately see that raised area across the bottom. While sitting at a desk, typing is actually very easy, and it feels a little bit less stress on the wrists. I've had a battle, a bit of carpal tunnel in the past, and I've actually found that either ergonomic keyboards that are split, or I'm typing on a laptop, I generally use a stand that actually raises it similar to how this is. Typing for here is actually very comfortable. The keys you can see are metal capped. So when you're sitting at a desk with overhead light, it actually almost reflects off the keys. So it's a little bit hard to see what the numbers or letters are. But as far as typing experience from a desk goes, it's actually a very pleasant experience. Um, and it's really quite nice. Now because of this unique design, you don't get that much room that the screen goes back. It's about as far as it's going to go. And the center of gravity seems a bit off as opposed to a standard laptop where it's centered. Here it's a little bit weird. I was worried that I was going to knock this thing over. So if I hit this and you're hitting it as far as you're walking or as you're typing or whatever it might be, you can see it is going to tip, but it's actually not going to tip over. It's going to come right back down. So right about there is where it's centered and then it's going to go over. So you can knock it relatively far before it would fall down on the monitor. Despite its weird appearance, uh, it's actually relatively stable when it's on a desk surface. It's got these little feet on the bottom right there. You can see a little bit of rubber. That sort of keep it set and not moving, which is really counterintuitive. I would have expected that a laptop like this would have had a lot of movement to it. Uh, but typing on a desk is actually very pleasant. Let's take a look at how this works if you're sitting at a chair similar to where I'm sitting right now, and you want to use it on your lap. Okay, so here we are sitting at the same regular chair with the laptop on my lap. It's actually quite easy to type. I would have been worried that again it was going to fall over, but even with I'm bouncing my knees, the computer is not falling forward. It definitely has a little bit of a shake to it. It's not as stable as a standard laptop, but it's not going to fall forward with just standard leg motion. Even as you type, it still stays pretty stable. And there isn't any flex on the bottom either, which is pretty impressive for a laptop this thin. So when you're sitting at a chair typing on your lap, it's actually going to work quite well. If you cross your legs, for example, when you're typing, that's where you run into a bit of issue because there's not enough room for the thing to stay stable. So if you're a lady who types your legs crossed or a dude who types your legs crossed, you're going to have a bit of trouble. You can still type with it like this, um, but it can wobble just a little bit. Let's go ahead and check out how this works reclining on a couch or a chair. So I oftentimes like to use my laptop sitting right here on my couch, just relaxing, watching a movie or while I'm watching the game. I like to catch up on some emails. Let's see how the Adamo XPS works while sort of reclining back. So again, you get sort of the same experience you had while sitting on the chair. It is surprisingly stable and actually a bit comfortable because of the raised edges. You get a bit more ergonomic typing. Now there is a bit of wiggle sort of up and down as opposed to a standard laptop, but it's nothing bad. I think I could definitely get used to typing with this on my lap since I've had it the past few days. This is actually the position that I've used it the most in and I found it to be relatively comfortable. So, a lot of people, much like myself, have a recliner. They like to use a laptop this way. So let's see how this works as well. And it sort of becomes a, a bit different when you're almost at a horizontal position. The laptop, I found, the edges of it almost fall off the sides of my legs, making it have that little bit of wobble. When I'm sitting up, not a much of an issue. But I'm reclined all the way back, it can have a bit of a wiggle, but nothing that would prevent me from typing on it. Again, you can see the area at the bottom with the downward facing speakers sits pretty nicely on your lap. I was actually quite surprised. When you're laying back like this, if you tap it, you can see really how far you'd have to hit it for it to fall forward on the screen. It comes right back. Almost all the way down. That's the point where it starts to fall forward. So if you're concerned about using the Adamo XPS and you're worried about the keyboard, how it would work in certain situations, like I definitely was, um, the concerns really Fortunately, don't have much merit. The laptop works pretty well on your lap, uh, despite really only having a small area at the bottom to rest on your legs. Really does work nicely, and uh, again, surprisingly so. 
It's probably one of the more comfortable typing experiences when sitting at a desk. Certainly you're going to want to use this in different situations to see how it's going to suit you. Just from a stability standpoint, um, it definitely works pretty decently. So guys, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and this is sort of the second of many Adamo XPS videos we have coming up. So stay tuned to the channel and Techno Buffalo for all of your tech needs. I'm John Rettinger, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to go watch the Olympics.